Respects to elders past and present. Please be seated. Congratulations to all of you. It's a fine effort. I'm delighted to have the privilege to be part of what is a very special day for all of you. And the word privilege is important, graduates. As a graduate, you gain significant advantages in terms of careers, in terms of your standing in the community, the opportunities that exist in the future. I encourage you to luxuriate in those privileges. Seize the opportunities that flow from them. But with all privilege comes responsibility. It has been a, a really very important and significant effort that you have put in to become a graduate of a university. The procession, the process, the pageantry, if you will, that we've just gone through is something that has 800 years of tradition associated with it. You now become part of a relatively restricted group of people. As graduates of a tertiary institution, and indeed graduates of a a very formidable tertiary institution. As I said, that provides opportunities that I hope you will seize with great enthusiasm. Let me begin by congratulating our graduates. This day on which you are graduating is most definitely a memorable and significant day. It's a day of public recognition of your wonderful achievement in mastering a body of knowledge and in successfully completing the requirements of a degree at a fine university. You should be very proud of your achievements. I know all those of us in attendance are proud of you. You are going to be the leaders of tomorrow and are our best hope. Will the candidates who have qualified for the various awards please stand? I call upon the Executive Deputy Dean of the Faculty of Business, Economics and Law, Professor Richard Speed, to present the graduates. Deputy Chancellor, on behalf of the Faculty of Business, Economics and Law, I present to you the graduates who are receiving the following award. Bachelor of Business, John Robert Hopkins. Ashveen Rock. Thank you. 